Hello and welcome everyone to another video series of Expert Matters only on ISBR's official YouTube channel. Today we have one of the most amazing guests with us. She is a passionate HR professional with more than 12 years of experience in the domain. She is absolutely amazing person who values relationships around her personally as well as professionally. She is expertized in versatile industries such as healthcare BPO, freight forwarding, retail, IT, and as a passionate HR business partner, her main focus is on impact and guidance. She has years of experience in talent acquisition employee engagement and creating a positive employee experience ladies and gentlemen boys and girls today we have nimisha chatterji with us welcome nimisha thank you shruti thank you for having me here thank you so much for taking our time for this interview today we are going to discuss a lot many topics a lot many things uh after the pandemics everything has become online so everything has become work from home from for employees so we are going to talk firstly about remote working and remote learning so what do you think is this work from home pattern helping employees to learn anything okay yeah i think that's very important and uh, relevant topic you have brought in because uh, there was a myth of obviously once we see a person once we be in the office that's where you get to learn but given this pandemic i would say not only in the workplace for all of us had it actually it is given a privilege and opportunity as well if you have to see the positive side that it has given us where we could learn to be ourselves that is you know self manage Right. and when i talk about self manage that is with the limited resources we all have seen without maids or without any proper resources we are able to manage the similar thing in the workplace also so how with the thanks to the technology i think we all are blessed to have the technology that's how we are able to talk to each other whether it is in the way same city who would have thought that within the same city we would be talking to each other in the zoom <laughs> right so whatever the workplace so that's how within the workplace as well you know we have come across the place with the technology where you all are anyways connected it was just that we wanted um, that we wanted to be in the office right. but uh, yes with the situation whatever the demands we have to take it and yes there's of course been a learning we first of all we have learned that being at home being with the technology we could learn we have all the resources mm -hmm. provided and then you can actually manage yourself your family and your work as well you need not have to be in the workplace but you can definitely learn and be productive wow so upskilling is happening whether it is online or offline if upskilling of employee is happening absolutely so when we talk about upskilling yes as you know so it's about with the technology because as the technology is moving on right you have in the phone right you have the 1.1 version has come up and then later on you go with an another version right. right you don't want to stick up with the latest and even if you don't know what are the new features you would be keen to know right it is right. not and sometimes there are that you would pick up a technology or you would go for it and then you will learn what is it right so similarly in the workplace also we know when the technology so it is important that you have to reskill upskill yourself mm -hmm. that whatever the new things are coming up either you have to learn to be productive to be competitive mm -hmm. or else to make yourself better stand out because learning is a continuous process right so definitely upskilling is an important not from the workplace from the students point of view as well because you are learning new things probably what i have studied in hr is not what you guys are studying so there is a different you know changes up coming up so that's very important that every phase of life we keep learning upskill ourselves right so what are the tools which are used for this digital collaboration with employees okay so that's a very good question uh, digital collaboration yeah because first of all i would say that you know something what we are talking to each other zoom right. have you ever thought as i mentioned earlier that being in bangalore itself we would be talking to each other no ways 
we used these collaborative tools definitely with our on-site or a global team. So that's how there are certain projects, there are certain teams who work together. So you have Office 365, you have these days Google, right? I think most of us are aware about in the students like Google Form yes. or Google Data Forms, right? Where you update something and you, you can collaborate with teams. So similarly in Microsoft Office also, you have teams and you have intranet folders in a particular thing. You have a project management collaborative like a tool called Asana. And that's an amazing tool, my favorite specifically, where you can actually collaborate with your teams and then, you know, you get the, get the things doing or you can know where the status is. So these are some of the things, um, you know, through the tools, which helps in collaborating with anybody on this planet as long as they have internet. <laughs> Right. So uh, whether it is remote or office based, upskilling is happening, the employees are learning, the digital collaboration is happening. So how is this virtual employee experience so far? Okay. So when we talk about employee experience, let me just uh, bring it to you. Uh, for example, Shruti, if you would have been on a, say for a holiday visit, okay, you would have been to Goa, right? And uh, and you would have gone for two days or three days with your friends and you were booked in a hotel and that had a private beach, okay? Now, when you come back or let's say you have to think about after two years or three years, what would you remember the most? It would be what, the, uh, the beach or the memories what you have created with your friends, right? Or so would you remember? Sorry? The journey. Exactly. Hmm. So it is all about how the experience was, right? You wouldn't remember the name of the hotel. You wouldn't remember the, right, what, right, right. what you ate. But it is the experience which mattered most. So that and how this experience is created from the, uh, you know, the resort or the hotel matters most. And that is, I always emphasize on the impact. So employee experience is also on the similar lines. It is the kind of experience you create from the time the employee uh, applies to the organization till the time he, he already left or he is already leaving the organization. So the impact you're going to create or you're going to have on how when the candidate is applying towards the organization, how is the organization approach? It is a mobile view whether the candidate can apply to the phone or does he have to go to the website and fill up mm. two pages form or how is he being welcomed? What are the learning opportunities? What are the career growth for uh, that employee? Mm -hmm. At the time of leaving, is it like, okay, you just fill up the form and go or somebody is really taking care of it. Okay, this is the day you have to uh, you know, exit. Before that, let me help you. These are the process you need to fill. This is what you have to do and towards end you will get those settlements and you're creating an alumni group we have heard about the college alumni group but in the workplace also we can have an alumni group so these are some of the things wherein you can bring the employee experience moments amazing so do you think virtual employee engagement is also very much progressing Um, your voice is breaking. You mean to say that uh, virtual employee engagement? Engagement, yes. Is it working? Okay. Is it progressing? Oh, yeah, sure, definitely. Because, see, end of the day, uh, it is definitely, uh, as I told you about, for example, for the recruitment or for the learning. So you digit digitally, the technology has definitely given us a lot of platform because earlier you were restricted to a particular location. But now on a global level, you have a lot of peers, you have mentors, you have a lot of opportunities to collaborate. You're no more restricted to one location constraint. You can collaborate, you can ment get mentored by someone else from a different place or different region. You can, with the help of the technology, you can definitely take the guidance and you can work on a specific or a niche project. You can upskill yourself as you had asked me for the upskilling question. You can upskill yourself and then you can be more, uh, make your USP, you know, be more competitive. 
So these are some of the employee engagement initiatives. And again, the best part is you can hear the voices of the employees. Like some of them what might be comfortable in talking, but with the help of technology, you can have an anonymous forms and then roll it out. So these are definitely going to help. Right. So since everything has become, everything has changed actually drastically with the technological development, with the remote working, work from home, all the social media and technological tools, everything has changed. The HR, the finance department, everything, marketing, we can see technological development in any field, any domain. But do you think those skills which HR used to have earlier, HR students 10 years back or five years back, say, they should have the same skills which the students, the students who are studying now, who are pursuing HR as their specialization now, should have same set of skills which earlier students used to have? Uh, no, definitely no, because uh, as I said, yes, uh, you know, things are evolving, you can say whether it is evolving or getting restructured. So, of course, with the HR, we have seen how we have moved from personal to functional management to strategic and what we have seen outside in next one. So mm -hmm. now it is more to do with how you are able to create an impact. So I would say the most important um, skill or, you know, you need to have, especially in HR, you need to have a business acumen, okay? Because you need to understand HR has taken a front place. HR was always, but now it is more. And with the pandemic, we have seen. So how, uh, you know, HR is, uh, it's very important that you need to understand the business acumen, that you need to understand your complete organizations business what they are into so that means you need to know what the finance is doing what the sales are doing uh, what is it department doing what is a new technology so everything you need to be aware about it the second thing is definitely you need to be more innovative and creative on how you can make a particular practice or a people practice or in the hr how you can bring in more creative flavor what else how when i say creative and innovative it is uh, basically to make you know how more productive we can uh, mm -hmm. bring in for the people the third one is on the networking you need to have a meaningful you know relationship it is not just not uh, networking it's just i would say that building up the connection you need to have meaningful relationships with within the organization outside the organization and anywhere and the fourth one is of course you need to have, you know, uh, create an impact. Now, that is true, obviously, how you are able to help someone, you know, being a career advancement coach, I would say that, you know, how you are able to uh, help someone in progressing their career, for someone else progressing their career. So how you can have those things are what is required in HR. Mm -hmm. So there are so many skills which students have to pursue, have to attain as they are growing. So what are the top skills? You have mentioned all the skills, networking, better communication, building better relationships inside and outside the organization. What are the top most skills other than that, which every student should retain in their personal life as well? Okay. So in personal life, if you have to ask me, it's very important. You need to have a growth mindset because that's very important as the roles are changing, the technology used in you know, life or in HR, it is getting skills. So though you are getting to, so it's very important that we need to realign our thinking as well. So that's why growth mindset is very important. Secondly, as I told you, data influency or technology, you need to be aware about it. You know, we, nobody is asking you to code, but then you should be aware what are the new technologies technology and how it is going to help the business or the organization what you are into so it's very important you embrace the technology uh, growth mindset which i've told you and the third thing is how you can approach you know uh, yourself from being reactive to proactive because yes. it's very important from even in hr because you need to develop your leadership you are responsible for consolidating process you are also helping the organization to build a culture of recognition. So for all these things, it's very important that, you know, in future, you are aware of 
as an HR, like who we are, you know, that is being clear about your organization purpose, uh, then how we operate, you know, how we can actually uh, understand the organization structure, make the faster decision and how we can grow. You know, so these are the three things as an HR personal, you, as a professional, you need to know. And to be precise, if you uh, just ask me in one liner, I would say that as an HR professional, you need to be a learner, enabler and creator. I was about to ask you a one-liner motivation for all the students watching this video. But since you have already given, it was, we have almost come to the end of the video. Thank you so much, Nimisha, for taking out time for this video, this interview. I am damn sure everybody, every management student and every other student watching this video will gain a lot many clarity, a clear, better thinking in HR and also a lot many skills to upgrade. Thank you so much for taking out time for this. Thank you. Thank you, Shruti, for having me here. And I would always uh, just give a message to all the students that embrace yourself you know uh, be the enjoy the process of becoming you and trust yourself believe in yourself